So hello everybody, how are you today? In this video I'm going to give you five tips that come straight from the community that are really, really, really cool. You don't want to miss this. Okay, the first two are actually in Parkway. Let me show you. This one comes from Nathan, Nathan Watkins. And uh, here's the thing. You know probably that you can actually grab a column, right click on it and add as a new query, which basically will copy the entire query and then remove the other columns. You can see here the last step is remove other columns and it will basically reference that table. But you know, it, it is a little bit like messy. There is actually another way to do it and this is what Nathan is showing us. Let me show you. You go here to new source, blank query, and here you grab the name of the table you want to copy, which is customers, and then double square brackets, and then you write customer ID. And that will do exactly the same thing, but in a cleaner way. And then you probably are going to ask me, Ruth, are they referenced or copied? Let me show you. If I go here and I keep just two rows, and then we go back to the other one, and there are only two rows, we know there's been referenced. And let's see, <laughs> reference. Okay, cool, thank you Nathan, super cool. Okay, the next tip comes actually from our Discord channel, and this I read this morning is from Ink Physician, thank you. And this is what he says, he says, okay, normally when I am changing the type of the columns, I go one by one, but there is a possibility to actually you know, control click or shift click, depending on what you're trying to do, and then going here and change it. There's another way you can control or shift click. Let me shift click, keep the shift button hold, and then click in here, and then text, and you will change everything for that. You can also click there and right click and then you will get all this stuff that you can do with the selected columns. So in case you didn't know, it's a really nice trick. So trick number three, it comes from Eric Svensson and Eric Svensson says like this, if you want to copy, let's say that we want to copy these two uh, queries from Power BI into Excel, you probably think that you need to go here, you need then to go to query, um, queries and connections, Power Query panel will open, and then you need to actually go into Power Query, but you don't have to. You can actually copy them right there. You see? And it's going to ask you now for the data source directly. So it's actually looking, okay, what data source it is, and then you can just click connect, and then it will connect, and it will load the table, and that's it. So super quickly way to just copy queries between Power BI and Excel. Good, right? So our next tip is in Power BI service. Let me show you. If we go to this uh, report coronavirus and we want to copy one of the visuals as an image and then paste it in a PowerPoint report or in an email or whatever it could be, you have here, you see the um, copy thing? In this case, this visual cannot be copied because this feature that I'm going to show you works only with uh, certain visualizations. For example, here on the table, you can just click on there and then it copy. And then you can go to a Word a document or an email or whatever and paste it in there and you will get a link to the report, which I think is very cool. The name of the report, when it was printed, and then if there was any filtering on the date, it's just very good. I, I, it is actually super good. Why you can't copy this visual? It is because there are some visuals that do not support this. For example, this is a map. This is, I think, a map box map and it doesn't allow it. Some of the R visuals won't allow it to. Some of the custom visuals won't allow it to be copied, but the, the native ones will work. And there is a difference, you need to know this, there is a difference between copying a visual from a report or from a dashboard. So if you copy from a dashboard, let me show you, this is a dashboard. You will have to go in here and then copy visual as an image, okay? You, you won't get the two, you know, the copy icon, which is a bit confusing, but okay. So once you learn it, I guess it's not that hard. 
Okay, so now, last but not least, the tip that you probably have been waiting for. How do you add emojis to the table names? This is really, really cool. And it comes from Jean-Pierre. Thank you, my dear. This is super cool. Okay, I'm going to show you. You have to go to Power Query because that's where you put the name of the table. That's where you should do it anyhow. So you go here to Calendar, and then we're going to add to the name. So we are going to click on Windows and dot if you have a QWERTY uh, keyboard. So Windows and then dot, and then it will come, the, the emoji selector for Windows will show up. And then if you scroll down here somewhere, we have a calendar icon. There we have it. I think I'll pick that one, or maybe this one. Okay, I picked too <laughs> many, there you have it. Now, close and apply and you will see that show up in just a second when, when it loads. You see it there? So I wouldn't put it everywhere. I just would put it, for example, on the calendar and maybe on the dimension tables or just on the sales and the calendar or something like that, because it actually brings that forward. And I think it is a really cool trick. So thank you, Jean-Pierre, for that.